Lay on. Speaking of bulls and uh, on horses, etc., uh, this is the, the, the big question. Um, you've wore, I, I've seen you wear armors daily on a daily basis, and uh, I'm pretty sure mobility is going to be very interesting. Like, I wore a samurai helmet, okay. and there was like the the rope tied to it. Like you can bring the I don't know what you call them, like like this, yeah. and they can just let go. So people, it's not as stiff as it looks. Yeah. So I want to ask you in terms of mobility, is it very difficult to, to ride a horse, to shoot uh, uh, the, uh, the arrow uh, in terms of manipulating swords? Joint mobility, because I've seen all of these um, samurai demonstrations, like they're, they're like very lifelike in terms of intensity, speed, and they would just lose their uh, spear or their sword and they just end up grappling almost like a judo fight and then Someone gets on top like a pin, like an Osai Komi, and then stabs, like maybe pull out like a Wakizashi or a small Tanto. So in terms of mobility, uh, how do these things function? Because, you know, when I wear my, when you wear your judo jacket, you should know how it functions or what it's made out of. So yeah. I'm sure you know a little bit about the armor as well. Um, in terms of mobility, in terms of how you can grapple, how do you feel like it works? Well, in my case, I haven't really had any grappling experience. However, um, just trying it for shooting the Yumi, it was surprisingly difficult, actually, mm -hmm. on horseback. Yeah, so even riding on horseback, you're... So uh, just to take it back a notch, I learned Washiki Bajutsu, which is the Japanese horse riding style, Japanese stirrups, Japanese saddle is a lot different on a Japanese horse. So this is the other thing to mention is your horse is a lot different than uh, it would be if you're in a different country. So I'm wearing armor and I realized like, wow, the center of gravity is very different to start off with. So I can imagine if you're trying to grapple or fight with somebody, Kabuto is pretty heavy. So you, yeah. go, you go head first. Like when I did do sparring in armor, it uh, yeah. there's a place called Castle Tinta Jail that I went to in uh, Meguro in Tokyo, everyone was just like going for it, man. You're just like, that was crazy. And um, yeah, the Kabuto is very heavy and I fell head first uh, oh. once. Yeah, because it weighed more than the armor that I was wearing here. So they had strengthened like a kendo mask and then welded a Kabuto on top of it. So it was like sparring oh. armor. So super heavy. And your center of gravity changes. So I can imagine that would be difficult. And then mobility. Like you have the, the koso there, you have your so there, you have kote. It's it's difficult to move your arms up to shoot a bow and arrow. So the technique for shooting in armor is different again to what you'd see on your regular kudo dojo, which is straight up mm. in it. Yeah. So just this this part was very difficult and surprising for me. I was like, wow, like how could people be wearing this on horseback trying to fight a war with a bow and arrow? Like this is a lot more difficult than I expected. But mm. then again, you know, this is a replica armor and this is not antique armor. So I have a feeling, you know, materials will be different. The design will be different depending on, and you know, each bushi, I would say, they adjust certain things they adjust some parts so that it fits their body it's better for them they get more mobility because they know uh which parts need to be protected especially if you're going to get shot from the side in here where it's open yeah um yeah i have a feeling that they would have customized it and it may be materials will be different than they are i mean from the one i'm wearing mm. but it's not that heavy it's just really cumbersome you know like there's not a lot of i can't do like a cartwheel or something 
But yeah, sparring, I can imagine it would be so tiring. You need a lot of like taiyoku, you need a lot of body power. So it must be so strong. Taiyoku, uh, the, the kanji for the body and then the chikara. Taiyoku. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like, I mean, even going back to taiyoku, so the power that you need to wear the armor, and then if yeah. you're going to be sparring in it, like these guys, Nowadays, modern Yumi, modern bows are so much lighter than they used to be. So we're talking mm. um, average woman's drawer weight, maybe 12 to 15 kilos, and then men, maybe about 20 kilos. Like way mm. back then, we're talking it takes five people to string the bow, so maybe 40 or 50 kilos. And then mm. you have your 20, 20 or 30 kilo, you know, yoroi that you're going to wear your armor, Man, like these guys must have been Superman. Like, you know, like how do yeah. you shoot that? Like, what? How does that work? So I'm like, and riding wow, a horse. Modern people are so like, wait, damn! I'm just like, yeah. wow, must have been so strong. So yeah, it just gave me a lot of things to think about, and it make makes me want to like go back there and practice more and try other things. So yeah, it's a lot of um, like, yeah. Hmm. Um. I was the the sparring that went like you saw in Tokyo. Like, were they like doing the demonstrations, or were they full on like ten generation oh, Ryu style sparring? Oh yeah, it was full on. So I they I write for uh, Budo Japan. So Budo Japan is this uh, English Budo site, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna write an article for Budo Japan. Go to Castle Tintajong, check it out. And their main thing is you know European armor. So you have knights. So you have samurai versus knight, and that's I was like, dude, I want to be samurai. So I did. I did one day of kenjutsu, um, so learning different kenjutsu techniques, and then I had been learning naginata a little while when I okay. first went, when I went there, and then the next day it's like the sparring day. So we're putting you in armor, and you know everything has to have no holes in it in case people hit you in the face, in the from the side and the neck. So I have just like. It's so yeah. heavy, and then just going for it, man. I was like, "Damn, my visibility is so low. I cannot see because you gotta protect your eyes." So it's super, super small, like tiny little holes. And then, yeah, getting hit in the side of the head with this like a little bit soft, different armor, uh, different weapons. It's yeah, it was pretty hard work. It wasn't like scary, but I was like, "Wow, this is pretty intense." Like, yeah. And they're there every weekend sparring, real oh. armor sparring. And I'm like, wow, oh this God. is like another world. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Yeah, I have videos on my Instagram, but yeah, it was pretty. Oh. Um, it what's, was, the pra what's the practice called? Um, the place is called Castle Tintagel, which is a European, I think it's one of King Arthur's castle names but anyway oh. they're on instagram i've tagged them in my post you have to scroll down a bit because it mm. was probably uh in the last year mm. and uh, yeah you can be samurai so they will put you in samurai armor or you can be like european style you can be a knight so they have yeah. kishido which is knight knight uh, knightly things or bushido which is you'll have yeah. your samurai armor so yeah you can choose and then they'll teach you to spar basically and you can just like go for it the rules are um i think it's boot hurt that there are specific rules uh points for different places mm -hmm. and uh yeah depending on your level and they'll match you to people who are the right level mm -hmm. for you so i got some mm -hmm. poor girl and i was like beating her up man but yeah because i lost uh, control of my nuggets i was just like elbowing her into the wall <laughs> it's just like yeah, it was pretty crazy because you don't have your weapons or you've lost control of them. Then you exactly, just that, away, right? Yeah, that's yeah. what that's what that was my question. Like, if you lose it, like, can you actually move in this? Uh, how is it designed? Can I can I use like cords and stuff to, to choke or the um, yeah the, the holder yeah. of the arrows? You you made a post on it. I'm so I'm sorry, I forgot the name. What was it? Peter, yes, 